All right, guys, this piece of steel, see all this has to go. See this fence all along to the other end has to go. They get some wire there, some more wire here. All this, guys, all this is steel or iron. All this has to go. See this one here? This has to go too. I just got to make sure that this isn't concrete all the way down. Because if it is, I'd have to cut this piece off and, um, and break the piece so I can sell it. If not, you know, they won't take it with the concrete. It sounds hollow. Okay, we got all this pipe here going all the way here. And then in this, uh, we got another pipe here to go. See this one right here? That's got to go too. And this is what the, uh, the customer wants done. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice job. Okay, it's going to net a few bucks, but uh, it's not that hard to do. All you have to do is cut here with a sawzall and cut again at the bottom with a sawzall and then wrap a chain around the pipe and then just drag it right out. And I'll show you uh, right now in a video how to do that. All right, guys, today we're going to cut this pipe, we're going to cut the cables, and we're going to cut the rest of this fence. What you guys got to do is they call protective or personal protective equipment. I'm going to use these little goggles here because mine are, uh, I kind of scratched the hell out of mine. And I'm going to use this uh, saw. So first we're going to cut these, these cables down. So guys, what I'm going to try to do now is cut more of the cable and then try to loosen this piece up. This is uh, this comes in two pieces, so we'll see what we can do here. What you guys are saying? How come you don't use cable cutters or a pair of dikes? Well, I'm just too lazy right now to go back to my truck. I'm hungry. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. I haven't eaten yet, and I don't want to keep walking back and forth to my truck. <laughs> okay, that's been separated. Let's go see what the center looks like. Now we're gonna cut this piece here. guys I stepped in something let's see if you can see it see that I stepped in something there and it kind of stinks a little bit <laughs> well I guess I won't be wearing these when I go home today let's just finish this up here and see what the hell I stepped on it might be a piece of cake or something but it's not nice it's squishy and you know when dogs do stuff and you step in it that's kind of like what it feels like I just got to do some more cutting on some wiring. So that piece is out. Now I just gotta cut it 
in half and I do see a piece there that's going to get cut and then I can start on this end then I can start on this pipe well that's it for that one now I have some of that pipe to remove Bend your knees and you lift, okay, with your legs, not with your back. You lift with your legs, like this. Okay, that's how simple that was. Remember, you lift like this, and you lift with your legs, all right? If you lift with your back, eventually you're going to hurt yourself, all right? I've seen too many people do it. Where I'm working right now, a lot of people are going to the doctor for bad backs because they didn't learn this trick. All right, so it's very important if you're picking up a TV to pick it up this way, like this. Oh, I'm tired. It's only been an hour. I'm exhausted. No, just kidding. Um, we're gonna start putting this into the truck, or I'm gonna start putting this into the truck. Then we're gonna um, we're gonna see what's in my yard, what's in this yard. Go into the scrap yard, make some nice money. Look familiar? Oh. All right, guys, this is uh, some of the steel there. Now, because this stuff isn't light iron. This stuff is heavy. I'm gonna sell it separate. <coughs> Excuse me. Then what I have in the yard. Hey guys, we're gonna call this the first batch. First batch of iron or steel. There's another one coming. It's way too much, it's way too heavy for my truck, but I can't put it in here unless I put railings. But this one we're gonna call the first batch, and then at the end I'll show you what I got for this uh, this pile here. Guys, this is my second load of steel. Be sure to take off this piece of brass, this piece of brass here, and on the other end, there's another piece of brass and some copper under there. But this is uh, another load here, and I want to show you another load of just steel alone that I'm gonna have to bring in the next day or two. Alright guys, it's my fourth load to the scrapyard. See three barbecues, some other garbage in there, some stuff from a dishwasher, uh, a piece of brake, 
and some other stuff. Let's see what I get for this stuff. 